I think it's happening. I think it's really happening. Welcome to the Porter Mason live stream. Uh, doing a couple things to uh, make sure. Yes, yeah, Sketchboard Pro, that is something. Make sure everything's going to work okay. Uh, today I'm going to be drawing a gluttonous bear for one of my Patreon members, Mark from New York. I think you still live in New York, Mark. To check that out. Uh, a gluttonous bear. So we're going to be drawing that today. And we're doing that in Procreate on uh, my iPad here. Yeah, this is an iPad 12.9 inch, iPad Pro 12.9 inch. And this is Procreate. We're going to be drawing that there. This is one of my uh, emotional animal series, which you can check out on RooneyComics.com. So, okay, we're going to start off with a preset thing here of the comic. CMYK, and it was a gluttonous bear. So let's get into it. First, we got to do a pencil sketch. And he had asked specifically, is this has got to be a fat bear, so we know it's going to be kind of round here. But he had asked specifically for a bear who, um, I wonder if almost the legs should have to be splayed out. It was sort of gluttonous, like he had just eaten a bunch, but he was looking like, oh, do you need it? Could I have some of that? Like, kind of that thing. I'm not going to draw multiple characters because that's not what this commission is about, but let's zoom out here a little bit. Uh, we're going to try to do these every Thursday at 10 Eastern, so if you are into this time frame, if this time frame works for you, you are in luck, because we're going to be back here this time frame many times. Um, so I just know he's going to be fat, but all I know now, and I know kind of this tail, bears have like a little tail. This is a general bear. Sometimes I do very specific species for these. Um... I have like the that arm folded back like are you gonna do you need are you gonna use that? Like that kind of thing. Um And he can have his lips uh we'll have some couple of food bags around him. We'll do that. And kind of twiddling his fingers. Um, software update is trying to install. We're going to go ahead and say no to that. How about that? Uh, let's see here. The pencil part of this, I'm going to keep more on this camera for now because the pencil part of it works better. Here. Uh, don't know what kind of bear it is, that's what I was saying. Maybe he should be... The thing is, I'm not going to be seeing the other... Booty's looking at, so I think he should be like eating a last piece of something, maybe. Probably not fat enough. I don't know why Mark wants this. I think this bear's not fat enough. I think that's our problem here, is our bear is not fat enough. I'm going to press cancel on the software update because I don't want to install... I don't want to install a software update right now, if that's okay with everybody. I'd rather not do that. Um, I'm not crazy about this. I like the lips licking. 
on the eyes. I'm not sure how to. Actually, maybe he could be eating. Actually, that's better. Yeah, let's kind of have him a little like his eyes are lowered. Um. I know he looks angry. I don't want him to look angry. Or maybe he's like holding a bag of something here. To me, being gluttonous is usually around chips. I don't know. That's. I just think it's like you never. You never like actually have to have chips. They're just for fun. So that's what I think about with those. Let's see, this is, you can start to see it a little bit better here, but I think uh, seeing it over there is a little bit better. Oh, I should check over here. Uh, uh, I'm a couple ways into this now. It's okay to pause and say, um, I'm using the Sketchboard Pro here. This is what the iPad is sitting in and I can use it to uh, lean on it's a huge help while I'm drawing um, and uh, I actually have a coupon code Rooney comics for this if anyone's interested in this it's uh, it's just it's life-changing uh, the way this things work it's made me draw way more than I ever would have digitally on just an iPad um, the pencil and the iPad you know fit in here perfectly um, and you can take it around with you it has a handle up here at the top if you want to do that um, they just apparently have one released in white, which is pretty sweet. And uh, you get a coupon code, you get 10% off. And I, I check this out to see if it works, and it does. If we go here and check out, uh, you will see that there's a Rooney Comics code, and it gave you 10% off. So you can't beat that. I mean, you just you can't beat that. Uh, oh, and I just realized I don't have the chat open. And I should probably do that. So let's do that. Uh, okay. Oh, you know what? I can... Um, let me do this. I'll pull up the chat over here. See if... Uh, well, that doesn't make any sense. So this is, you know, a failure of this, uh, that I'm not, uh, let me go back to the sketchboard pro. I'm not going to buy one right now. I would really like to buy this white one though, because they, they have that one now. Um, there's the Patreon, but I'm going to get over to, uh, other thing. We'll do this quickly. Yes, I have one compromised password. I apologize. Showing you that. Actually, what I'll do is I linked to it here. We'll do it that way. Sorry, I know this is not exciting. And, uh... Oh, but I don't want to do that. You guys, I just did not think through the chat aspect of this. I just didn't. That's all I can tell you. There we go. Okay. Chat is there. And I want the pop-out chat. That's what I want. I, I know no one's in the chat. I, I know that. I just... I'm trying to do this so I can do this again. My daughter is, Lulu is not liking this part because I'm not drawing more and I'm, I apologize. I'm going to get back to drawing. Uh, I think what I'll do is just have him eat in this bag of chips and then have a bunch of other bags of chips. 
and we'll get some of my crumbs. And then we'll have a bunch of other bags of chips, like, strewn about. You know? That's pretty gluttonous. And his cheeks are clearly full. I like to spare. I don't usually draw the nose like that. Mm -hmm. uh, if you are watching, definitely do say hi in the chat. I think I'm just fooling about now, so let's just get this a little centered and go to this layer. Let me start at the eyes first. I'm not saying you have to, that's what I'm saying. I, I always start at the eyes first. We can switch over to the screen share here because this will start to be a little bit better to look in on that. Making this little tongue out, I never usually do the tongues, but I like showing his tongue for some reason. It seems like grosser and Mark. I hope this is what you had in mind. If not, you should, I guess, stop by the chat and tell me because this is what you're getting. So it's funny, I draw these chip bags with like chips that you can see from the top, but in a real chip bag, you couldn't see any chips through the top. They would never put that many chips in there. Start putting a little bit of uh, this big. I was drawing these um, commissions for you guys because it forces me to draw. My strip is just four characters. You know, purposely. I don't want to draw 10,000 things, but this way I get to draw a bunch of other characters. And you guys get some commissions. We'll check in. I'll show you where. Uh, I'll tell you a little bit about the Patreon when we switch over to the coloring. I don't usually get this in depth with feet. And I don't know if that's how Bear's feet look, but given the nature of this commission, I think he's more concerned about the gluttony than the bear. Could be wrong. Could be wrong about that. But I think Mark just wants a really fat bear. I think. I guess we'll find out. Or we'll find out in the chat if Mark tunes in. I, I don't think he is, but I suppose it's possible. 
Let me know how you like the jazz. This is some jazz from the 1920s. It is part of the public domain. Uh, bears would eat berries and salmon. How about salmon O's? Or Samitos. Which doesn't really make sense. I should probably look up what's the. Some little dead fish there. Oh, let's make his little time. A bag of salmon chips. Who doesn't love it? I guess we have the opportunity for another couple chip jokes. I don't know if I'll take that opportunity. I might, I might, I might. I might. Okay. Definitely need to get him a... Uh... A little dirtier. The crumbs would generally fall down. Excuse me, not too late. I gotta get used to being up for these live streams. Fall down the front of him. And then, like, below his belly. So I think that's pretty good. Let's see how we look like without the pencil. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Um, let me just, before I forget, make a layer for the color, and for that, shadows, okay, other jokes for chips, I mean, bears eat like berries, it's not that exciting, park ranger, What's the, what do you call, um, Ranger Rhines? How about that? I think Mark would appreciate that. We'll put the little hat on there. Uh, I mean, they eat berries? That's not very funny. They do genuinely eat berries, though. Um, they eat, hmm, yeah, well, we have gotta go with berries here. If anyone has an idea of what bears eat that I missed, you can put it in the chat or in the comments. Bears eat... That's all I can think of is berries. Berry chips sounds good. So that's fine. Maybe that's what he's eating. Just, uh, what do you call them? Cran raisins. It's actually pretty healthy. I think Ranger Ryan's was really where we it's really where we made that one happen but the other ones are alright they don't point it the same way so we should do this one the other way um and it's and it is and it is this is the most important part of the drawing the name of the fourth chip bag. The brand of chip used on the fourth chip bag. It's very important. I'm gonna say it's
See that? See? It's Bear Fritos. That's the other one. Bear Fritos. Alright. Let's move on to coloring before we do. I'm going to tell you a little bit about the Patreon. The Patreon uh, for Porter and Kim Mason. That's my wife. She helps me make these comics into comics that help kids learn about their emotions as well as uh, learn some vocabulary. Patreon has a couple levels here. Three dollars a month for just to get the Rooney comics. I do a comic strip uh, three times a week. There's one exclusive for the three dollar level. You can't get it on social media. You can only get it only get it over here. Uh, Five dollars is where you get the stuff for my wife uh, where we get these these worksheet pages uh, where they take the comics and they put on questions that help uh, kids talk about and deal with their emotions. You, it can help you, if you're a parent, to engage in a conversation with them about emotions. They're just little writing prompts, but the, the kids do some coloring while they're doing either the writing prompts, either then writing about the prompts or then talking to you about them, and it helps open them up. Uh, she's a certified child life specialist. She develops these in particular. And um, for, for the Patreon, they work great. Use them with our kids. We have child psychologists who've used them and say they work really great with our patients. Um, they're worth checking out. You get a, a bunch of them every month plus access to the whole archive of them when you join at the $5 level. But the $10 level is where you get to what we're doing here, the illustration commissions. If you join at $10 a month, and you will get one of these drawings every year. And if you pay annually, pay annually, you get it right away. So that's how that works. Um, you, if you start at the $10 level and you do the pay annually, you'll save 10%. It'll be, it'll be about 100. Uh, and we'll start doing your drawing right away in next week's live stream. And we'll, we'll do your drawing possibly. Uh, then there's more levels of commission, uh, $20 a month, you get two of these drawings a year, and for $100 a month, you get uh, one of these every month. Um, you can also do more complex illustrations. I'm doing a basic one with one character. If you want a more complex one with two or more folks uh, or animals in it, or just something very specific, um, that's the $20 a month level, or again, at the $100 a month level, you can get into that stuff too. I have a limited amount of time uh, in my life. And so, uh, I only have these levels for a certain number of people. So we have about 13, uh, 14 spots remaining for the basic level, nine remaining for the $20 level and four remaining for the monthly level. That's it. So if you're interested in the stuff, you want to get a drawing featured here in the live stream, you can do that. I'd really recommend that $10 a month level and do the pay annually. You'll get your drawing right away then you just get a year of all the rest of this stuff. So that's great. Anyway, that's the Patreon. Uh, Patreon.com slash Porter Mason. Go check it out. Join as a member. Let me know you came through the live stream. And, uh, and I might be drawing your, your animal um, in the next live stream we do. Okay, let's add this as a reference layer and get coloring. I generally stay in this palette. Brown is not a part of this palette, so I just have to knock down the saturation here. We'll see what we get. Oh my god. Alright. I think that's a fine brown. Again, we don't have a specific bear. Sometimes I pull in a reference drawing, but we, uh, we don't have that. So I'm looking around here. See where my gaps are. There's one. It's not necessary for me to do this this way, but I just like to. I don't know. Why do I do it this way? It's a force of habit. This new feature is great. If anyone cares about Procreate. Um, I gotta fill in some of this other stuff. But actually, not too many, because I want those little crumbs to actually, like, stick out. But this can be going pretty good. Sorry. I checked in the chat, and then I... I 
at this thing that I'm not sure I'm going to keep doing. Where it auto switches. I don't think it's necessary. Okay? It's not necessary. Go. Chips. Let's make the chips like bright yellow. Right? I guess I can make them mix. I'll make them all yellow for now and then I'll add in some other. The chips, this berry, it's our colors not really seen in normal food. It is a gluttonous bear. It's like really saturate the orange here. Some of the salmonos. Good. I suppose I should color the chip itself. Hmm. Well, that's an interesting color for the chip. His nose is gray. Do I have this set up? I can't hear the streaming, which is good because it would distract me, but I don't know what it sounds like. I mean, I know what it sounds like because I listen to it, but I don't know what it's sounding like right now. Ludo, I'm sorry I'm talking. My daughter didn't want me to talk. Feel strange not talking. So I'm talking some. You probably barely hear me. We'll see. Okay. Doing decent. We are at a ten thirty. That's good. Right where we want to be. Chip bags. What's my color going to be? Let's just decide that. Um, I think like green would be nice. So. Chip bags. Let's have one be blue. Oh, the salmon one would be blue, right? Okay. Salmonos. One of them's gotta be red. Maybe the Ranger Rhines. Guys, Ranger Rhines is really funny. Just letting you know. That's the funny one. That is the funny one. And oh, the cranberry is a uh, maybe blue too, but I'll do this one. Don't want the texture in there yet. Don't want that. Samitos. Everyone knows what Spanish for fish is. Let me know. And then let Mark know. And if Mark wants me, I'll change the name of Samitos to some cute Spanish name. Now, usually the tops of the bags are, I think the inside of the bags would be like silver, right? So we'll try to do a little bit of that. 
I can't see, but I'm gonna make the tops white. It looks pink to me. It's white. Oh. My daughter had used my iPad and changed the opacity of my brushes. And that's why, Mark, you're going to have some slightly interesting lines. But you know what? It ended up being okay. All right. That's fine. Mark, we're going to give Lulu a pass on that one. Lulu a pass. This is a vague shot at what um, the, the Ocean Spray logo looks like. I don't think I'm right, but it just has to be evocative. Alright, evocative. Bear Fritos. These are kind of like, they're kind of like knockoff Fritos, to be honest. So the bag isn't very fancy. You know what I mean? All right. Alrighty. The light is coming from here. Actually, here. Here. Goodness. Yeah, we need to go way down. Mark, what are you going to do with this illustration? Print it out? Hang it in your great room? You have a great room, Mark? Apparently coloring is what I need the most concentration. Actually, that makes sense because that's what I've done the least of and I feel the least comfortable doing. I'd love to have like actual colorists. I'd like to talk with them and let them tell me what I'm doing wrong. Maybe they'd say, you're doing everything right. Come join the colorist union. Here's why we switch over to it looking much better on the screen share. Directly from the iPad. The penciling looks so bad like that, but the inking looks pretty good and then the coloring looks way better. It's great. Get in there. Yes, he does have a hint of man boobs. That is part of the, uh, the deal here. Let's 
pretty good. No, I did that wrong. The light is coming from here. From here. Here. Okay, actually, so I'm okay. All right, pretty good. I got to uh, the shadow here, so. I forget if I've been doing these shadows for, I did for a period of time. Highlights. Now, a lot of times I like to do yellow highlights. Why? I don't know. Because of the sun. But I think he should just be white. Oh, yeah. Those are way too uh, pronounced. These are always fun because of my actual comics. I can never get this detailed. I just have to, uh... Put, oops. Put, like, general... I just never get to do specific highlights. So it's kind of fun. It shows fur a little bit. Might even do a separate layer for my other ones. You know what I mean? Hey. Some buddy. And I think I'm gonna do like really pronounced ones and then uh blur it out a little bit. I you know. I feel nervous that the stream It's like, uh, it's a weird thing doing this. Okay, let's blur that out a little bit. Yeah, just a subtle round there. You're having a bear hunting season in New Jersey now. We have too many bears, apparently. Why? Because people are feeding them all their rancher rinds. 
I don't even know why people are eating rancher rinds because they taste like it's like ranchers. So why would a person be eating it? You have to ask yourself. I think this is too much here. Do I even want it there at all? Put it here. Just like that. Something. I kind of want it around the eyes. Which is kind of interesting. And these never got colored correctly. So for God's sake, let's do that. Sorry. If that offends you. Sorry, God. You know why the hell? That's what I'm trying to do here. Help me out. Alright, he's looking pretty good. I trying to get out of the habit, but I still think it will look nicer if I do a kind of bold outline around some of the strokes here. Just to get some more ink, as a, I had a cartoonist tell me years ago, you know, just a wee lad, you need to just get more ink on the paper. Sometimes when you're drawing, you're rightly concerned about getting the shape of things right. You know, getting a good likeness and so on. Then you get very tentative with the ink. Like, you just need to get some more ink on there. So this round is, allows me to do that. And I do this with physical drawing too. I do a round with, uh, with, uh, with uh, regular pens and then I do a round with, uh, Brush pens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go. Okay. Both. I guarantee you this looks better. I should. I did a different layer, so I'll show you at the end. It's an extra step, but it's. Very satisfying stuff, and I mean, I think it helps a lot. I wouldn't do it if I didn't. I'm trying to get out of doing that step with the habit strip, but it's, it does take up additional time. So I'm trying to get better at putting more ink down on the first go through. But on Mr. Gluttonous Bear here for Mark. That was not possible. So I've never drawn this character before. We're looking good. We'll be right in an hour. Mark, you will get your bear tomorrow. And I believe Mark has another drawing coming his way. combination of me being behind on commissions and people had not told me their requests. I do requests first. So if someone asks for something specifically, I I do that. This the gluttonous bear was a request. And then in doing this, I get much better. Oh, goodness. Variation in line weight for anyone who cares 
No such things. Okay, I'll show you what it looks like here. Um, with or without. Let's just move them over. Better like this, better like this. Better like this, better like this, better like this. Better like... I mean, to me, it's just no contest. This is fine, you know. But that's, that's better. Okay. Now. I like to put these little arcs in the background. That's my deal. Um, so let me just do this. You know what I'm doing shortly. Right now, you don't need to know. Let's uh, let do this. I mean, you probably know what I'm doing. If you've seen any drawings before. But maybe you haven't. That's okay. Alright. So. So let's go down on this and up on this. And maybe down a little. The wind's blown out there. Looks pretty good here. Not perfect. Good. Looks too bright. I mean, it's pretty good actually. Let's see. Oops. Let's see here. Pretty good, pretty good mark. This is a good one. Thanks for suggesting it. As you can see, here's where I'd sign it. That signature's too fat. Why is the signature so fat? All right, the gluttonous bear. It's the gluttonous bear. We did it, we did a gluttonous bear. Um, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm gonna say one last time. Uh, let's come over here. Uh, one last time about the Patreon. Uh, please join at the $10 level and up. You can get a commission just like this. And remember, um, if you go over to Sketchboard Pro and I would get the white one, if I were you, I'd get that white one. Uh, if you go over to Sketchboard Pro, which is at sketchboardpro.com, and you use the code Rooney Comics, you will uh, get 10% off your order at checkout. Uh, you can follow the link that's in the description. It'll put the code right in there, or you can you can add it in yourself. Um, but that is it for me. We're coming up right on an hour. Perfect. We did it. We did it, everybody. The jazz music did it. You did it. Uh, please join the Rooney Patreon. You can get your illustration right on this live stream. And please, either way, uh, subscribe to the channel. You can see these live streams. Uh, get notified about them. Uh, turn notifications on, all that stuff. And 
leave a comment. Even even if you don't do anything, that, leave a comment. How was it? How'd it go? I don't know. Uh, we're going to try to do these every Thursday, most every Thursday this year. Uh, so stay tuned for that. All right. Thank you, guys. See you next time.